tourists from 86 countries from all over the world came to visit Chernobyl. Chernobyl is getting more and more popular for the visitors after the movie series was released. By the end of the year, they plan to attract more than 100,000 tourists. That's It's one of the most popular sites, which is the exclusion zone, and it's going to be available in a smartphone very soon. So, Chernobyl app is just a simple application uh, accessible for or compatible with Android and iOS devices. It uses a lot of VR technologies with interactive content. Uh, there are scanned 3D models and also there are audio guides, active photos, and exhibits from the Chernobyl Museum. Our objective was to develop, to develop the application to collect all the exhaustive information uh, about Chernobyl. In, a, in one place. Chernobyl is located only 100 kilometers away from Kiev, but foreigners seem to know much more about it than we do. Dozens of buses and many tourists from all over the world, and that's the case every day. The guides are showing the most painful spots in the area. All the tourists are given the, the dose meters where they can check the real radiation rate. Look at the right hand side, there was radioactive ash here. And here you have white birds. You're not going to see that anywhere else. Chernobyl will be digitalized. By the 35th anniversary of Chernobyl, they decided to create the Chernobyl application. To reach the effect, they had to spend a lot of time and effort. So the team of enthusiasts many times had to visit Chernobyl to do the job. We're going to show all the locations that are available here today. We're going to tell the stories about the places. We're going to show the current condition. We'll measure the radiation rates. And also we're going to share some of the information through the VR solutions. First of all, this is going to be the 360 solution in some of the areas that cannot be accessible by the people but the drones can have access to it. You can find historic references and all the chronology of the events. More and more information about the different facilities in the exclusion zone. The signal is actually sent to, in the direction to the object and then it reflects backwards. That's how the Duga radar worked. It was intended to be the early warning system for the ballistic missiles. The local people were only suspicious about the radar like this available, but it was intended to actually keep track of the missiles that could be launched by the enemies of the Soviet Union. Right now it can be seen right from your homes. For this, you need a smartphone and downloaded application that will be available after several months. To make sure you can see that from the phones or tablets, beforehand, it has to be digitalized. We are now scanning parts of this radar. This is the more most detailed work. This is laser screening and laser, um, yes, la laser screening of this entire facility then it's going to be uh, created and put it put into the 3d mo model and after processing and uh, rendering it's going to be available 
The prelimin preliminary result works like this only. The team of the city's enthusiasm started developing the mobile app. They go and scan different sites and facilities. A photographer, a cameraman, and an expert. The Metro is a drone operator. His objective is to make footages from the drone. We're now shooting for the application. We're shooting different sites from different angles and our our visitors will be able to see fascinating uh, footages with fascinating experience. It looks really dangerous because this whole thing has rusted for the last 30 years and you never know when it's going to fall down. The exclusion zone cannot be restored or renovated, so it is changing over time. That's why it is very important to record and keep track of all the facilities as they look right now. Yes, because everybody, everything is becoming very much forested. There is a lot of greenery all around and it's growing every year more and more. This is why Pripyat can disappear in the next 10 years. This is what's happening to the buildings in Pripyat. Hundreds of thousands of visitors, mostly foreigners, have been traveling and continue to travel to watch the site. Because of the wildfires, about 30% of the exhibits and signs were completely destroyed. The 30 kilometer area shows you the aftermath of the wildfires that had happened this summer. Bear trees were totally burned down, and that probably was 40% of the entire four forested areas. This used to be the house, which was quite okay, even though nobody had lived there since 1986. But after the wildfires, you can see that a lot of the buildings were demolished. Some of the others still survived. The application will be of great use for the Chernobyl visitors. It works offline. In a separate part, you're going to have all the maps available. Here's the radiation contamination map here. The main objective of this uh, application is to collect all the official information available um, today on in one spot. This is a one-stop solution for you to read, see, and make a decision if you want to travel there. How to get prepared for it, how to buy tickets, and even how to look at the list of and find the list of guides working here. The Ukrainian developers would like to collect all the available and relevant and genuine information in one single application. We're going to tell about the story, about the disclosed materials, secret files and everything. The developers complain that 
there are a lot of myths around Chernobyl. So they tried to actually find genuine information to be put on the app. There the users will be able to find the disclosed materials and data. I would like to actually tell a bit about our application regarding what's inside and show to you what you can expect from downloading this application to your device. First of all, there is history, there are news from the exclusion zone. What is told about us out of Ukraine, I mean beyond Ukraine, and also inside. The next part is fakes. We're talking about the most famous stereotypes and fake stories about the radiation and the, the exclusion zone. And also, we're trying to break those. There's a big part called stories. We have the stories and the disclosed materials, pictures, and exhibits from the Chernobyl Museum. So we're te also telling stories of real people who witnessed the Chernobyl disaster. In the art section, you can find about books, movies, uh, exhibitions, and other artworks dedicated to Chernobyl. The second next part of the application will help you actually research the uh, exclusion zones map, how it looks like. There are a lot of stories about what those facilities were before and there are some of those digital items you can watch a 3d model available on the app and you can actually see a lot of information and very realistic uh, virtual models so uh, through vr technologies you can travel in the 360 format. So you can actually um, find most of the locations on a place for that you need to actually press 360 function and you're gonna uh, actually download the location that you're now looking at. Some of those locations can be even seen from the, from the air. There is also a contamination map. It is actually showing two different periods of time. This is exactly during the disaster and also after so many years. Please keep track of our project on Chernobyl.app website and also follow us on social media, Facebook and Instagram. We're so much grateful to UCF for the restless support to in, in the implementing such an ambitious project like this one. To achieve the effect, a lot of time had to be spent, so the team of enthusiasts had to travel so many times to the Chernobyl area. Thank you. 
действительно самых популярных среди иностранцев туров по зоне отчуждения будет доступен в смартфоне. Everybody can actually travel to Chernobyl without leaving their homes. And here we come to the closing of our day two. Chernobyl International Forum, thank you very much for watching us online and thank you for actually watching us on Chernobyl.com website. You can see the footage over there and our webcast. Thank you very much for watching us on social media. You can listen to an individual speaker. You can also read it in a text textual format.